Hello traders, FS Pilcolette here. Today is Tuesday, August 15th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the Euro dollar monthly, I still believe that we're in an uptrend. I still think this uptrend is not over and that it's going to end up eventually looking something like that, most likely taking out these highs. Probably a big 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of A, or possibly a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of wave 1. So let's take it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I still think this first set of trend is a 1. To me, it does, especially because of the dollar index. It looks like a 5-wave correction, like an A, B, C, D, E. I think we're probably still going down. Maybe we test this trend line before. We end up going up and eventually making that wave 3, 4, and wave 5, just like what I was sewing on the monthly time frame. So keeping all that information in mind, let's head down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I do see that we're in a downtrend, and I really don't think this downtrend is over. I think that it looks like something that's going to end up continuing down, maybe to the 100 or the 123 level before it ends this potential wave E, makes an impulsive move up, takes out struts, and potentially ends up continuing the uptrend, probably ending a wave 2 and going up for a wave 3. So let's take it down even further to the 4-hour time frame. 4-hour time frame, we definitely have a move to the upside as you can see, but it has not broken any struts yet. It really has not given me any reason to believe that this move up is anything beyond beyond a correction to the downtrend. So I am for sure still looking for sorts in a downtrend, especially on this order time frames, for the continuation of what I think is all part of a big wave E on like the daily time frame and up. So let's take it down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, it definitely looks like a one up, three waves down, and then another one up. We are sitting at this 61% Fib level, but it looks like it's not really respecting that level. I wouldn't be surprised if it did go up to the 78.6, but as long as it does not go up and break this highway here, I am definitely only looking for sorts in a downtrend. So if I see an impulsive engulfing move down at either of these two levels, then that would be exactly what I'm looking for for an entry to go sort for the continuation of the downtrend. On the other hand, if it does go up and break this level, then that tells me that we're in for a bigger move to the upside, and at that point, I would definitely start looking for longs in an uptrend. But since that has not happened yet, I will continue to look for sorts. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.